I'm not late. It's only half past. Well, no, you've got tons of time, love. Yeah, well, get off me back, then. I'm not on your back, love. I was just wondering if you wanted to meet me after school, that's all. What for? Well, going to town and rent shops. I'll buy you a present. It's not my birthday. Well, I know that. But, well, you need some new things for winter. Look, if I want to see Dobber, I will. You can't wait outside the school gates for me every night. I'm not bothered about Dobber. Yeah, you are. You think that if you're extra specially nice to me, then I might stop going out with him. Hey, your mum buys your new clothes every winter. It's nothing to do with Dobber. Isn't it? No, love, it isn't. You like him, then? Well, I won't say that. Yeah. Well, I like him a lot. So you can stuff your new clothes. Give him to Les. Hey, Les of your lip. Or... Or you won't see Dobber this side of Christmas. You'll stay in your room. You don't learn from your mistakes, do you? Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? Well, it's just last time that you threatened to chain me to the bedpost. I ran away. Yeah. And look where it got you. Yeah. Well, this time it'll get me somewhere different. We're just worried about you, love. Oh, there's no need. I'll be safe in school with all the other little girls. Ta-ra. Don't want to be late. No, it's, it's not the meal I'm worried about. Hayley and I are looking forward to entertaining you. Something's on your mind. Well, it's this altercation I've had with Mike Baldwin. I don't like unpleasantness of any kind. Mm. Factory girls are still talking about it. What are they saying? Nothing. They're as surprised as the rest of us. I think it's best forgotten. Oh, the till was £10 short last night. You didn't give change for a 20 instead of a £10 note, did you? No. Did you? No, 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 no. I've never done such a thing. Maybe not. You're branching out in all directions at the moment, aren't Look, you? I am extremely careful with customers' money. Mm. So am I. Well, one of us made a mistake. It could just as easily have been me as you. Well, it's not going to happen again, is it? I hope not. So, has Jim filled you in? Yeah. Look, don't let this discourage you. Incidents like that are very rare. Like it was me that was upset, it wasn't Elizabeth. Yeah, well, he would probably fancy her whether you were in a wheelchair or not. The wheelchair wasn't the problem. Yeah, look, I, got, I think we should forget this. We've got a lot more important things to be doing here. Well, we're called a setback, shall we? We've had plenty of them. Yeah, you'll get over it. You've got each other. Aye, right, we will, won't we? I'll see you later. Hey, listen, get yourself around at lunchtime. I'll cook you some food. Better in a restaurant any time. Not for me, thanks. I've got things to do. Bye, Michael. Cheerio, night. Oi. Don't worry about it. She'll come round, she always does. Seems like she's very upset. Not at all. She just lost a bap a wee bit. She'll be fine. That's what we're like. Eh? That's why we got married. That's why we got divorced. And that's why we're getting back together again. No, no, the length's fine. I just want you to give well, it a wash and blow dry. So, you want a cut and blow yes, then, yeah? Right. No. Well, oh, maybe trim well, here and there, but the style's the way I like it. All right, well, um, I'll fit you in tomorrow, OK? No, it's a young person I'm looking for, Ella. Look, well, you see, I'm the stylist. I'm very experienced. I want to train someone up to my standard. Um, actually, it has to be this afternoon. I finish about yes. four, but I'll be in a hurry. Yes. Right, so it's a cut then, yeah? No, it really doesn't need well, cutting. I, I just want it to look nice, the way it does when it's been styled. Right, so no. you just want it styled then, yeah? <sighs> no. Listen, surely it's not difficult to find staff. I mean, you must have dozens down at your job centre. I've seen them reading the cards. Well, them that can read. <laughs> oh, look, and I'm talking about quality personnel here, right? Mm-hmm. Right, so you... Um, OK. What kind of style would you like? <sighs> I don't want it restyling. I just want it washed and blown dry. Uh, would you just hold right. on a second, please? Is there a problem? No, no, we're, we're fine. Have no. you got an appointment for four o'clock this afternoon for a wash and blow dry? Yes, of course we have. Look, put her in the book, Maxie. All right, four o'clock then, yeah? yeah? Look, I just want someone young, attractive, intelligent that can use her or his initiative, doesn't mind hard work and that gets on with folk, right? Oh, and no body order. I'll uh, see you later, then. What? Yeah, all right. Four o'clock. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, okay, um, right. Four o'clock, Hayley, all, all right. right? Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, right. Good. That's settled. Thank you. Right. Mm. 
Stick that for one day. Shouldn't have gone in. If my mum thinks I'm wagging it, she rings the school and checks up on me. I don't know, I just don't tell her where to get off. But you did. It was brilliant, that. Yeah, well, might as well start as you mean to carry on. My mum and Les don't want me to see you anymore. Oh, who cares? It has nothing to do with them. It's about you and me. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And they weren't there in Spain. So we had a great time. We've got to be careful, though. Now that we're going out properly. I'm always careful. Thought I might find you in here. Yeah, I can't go home yet. Need some time off, do you? Yeah, according to Jim... Oh, yeah, go on, I know. Half of it were my fault. Well, he didn't actually say that, you know, not to me, anyway. He blows up and cold. I know him. He's got to blame somebody. Well, that is typical of his condition. No, it's typical of him. You looking for someone? The other girls. There aren't any girls here, apart from Liz, and she's busy. I'll try the calf. Yeah, all sorts hang out there. Goodbye. Don't you be late back at work. You know your hours. Oh, I'm finishing at four o'clock this afternoon, Mr Baldwin. You haven't forgotten, have you? I haven't forgotten anything about you. I have to talk to somebody. Well, I'm here. I'll listen to you, whatever it is you've got to say. Even if I say... What? I don't want him. Halfway through the meal, I admitted that to myself. I would have told him, I think, when we got home. OK, so are you sure you're not just angry, but, you know, cos he blew up in front of all those people? No, I've been cheating us both. He's not the man I want. Mobile or paralysed, he never will be. So what are you going to do now, then? For the meantime, maintain the pretense. He doesn't want your pity, Liz. Well, in the end, that's all he's got. So what's mine all up to, then? Running the iron over his dinner jacket. <laughs> he's only in the loo. Yeah, well, it's going to be awful. I'm not going to enjoy the food, am I? Gone to a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, you could send up some chips as far as I'm concerned. You enjoyed it before. It'll be a nice change. I could have me feet up in front of the telly. You'll enjoy scintillating conversation with two fascinating people. Oh, yeah. Who else have they invited? Well, think of it as a night away from the kids. I like the kids. Yeah, I like Roy and Hayley. Consequently, no excuse is good enough. We are going. So enjoy. OK. My Fiora. Mm. See you later. Mm. Ta-ra, you lucky people. Bye, Martin. That's what I said. Anne's going to set me up. Oh, she reckons she'll get your fingerprints on another letter, then it'll prove Curly's innocence. No, it won't. It'll just prove that I'm guilty along with him. I know, but she's off her head. Oh, yeah, well, that's all I need to hear, isn't it? Oh, look, don't worry. I'll get the letter back off when I see her tonight. No, but then your fingerprints will be on it too. Yeah, I know. Have you got any better ideas? Well, hey, maybe. Look, do you think you could manoeuvre her so that she stood in front of one of them surveillance cameras? You mean capture her on film? Can you do it? Well, yeah, but listen, if there's not a policeman at the other end monitoring what's going on, what's the use of it? Well, what? What if, if I were in the security office and I watched what was happening? And as soon as it was finished, I took the tape out of the machine. And then we show it to the police? Of course. I mean, who else would we be showing it to? It could work. It will work. I know where the office is. I'll wait till the security man starts his rounds, then in I go. Great. Great. <laughs> to go in. I always drop my stuff off first. So you're gonna do it then? What? Get 40 quid out of the till. I can't. 
come. You've had a good time, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't expect to drive around the countryside on nothing. We weren't driving all the time. Petrol costs money. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got to pay your share. We weren't bothered about how much we spent in Spain. We had all the cash then. It was different. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, 40 quid, OK? I can't. Look, I got away with the 10, but they'll notice 40. No, they won't. Not if you take it off the customers and don't ring it up. I don't know. I'll meet you outside when you're finished. We'll go somewhere quiet. What for? Come here, I'll show you. Look, I've got to go. You got great legs, you know. See you later. See you. He was in a rush. Yeah, well, he didn't want you butting in. Have you taken the tablet yet? I can put a pill in my mouth. I don't need help. You're going out with the dark, you need something. Get back behind your counter. Some old geese will want a gazette. I tell you, don't take any chances. No, I'll sit in every night with a good book. Fred will tell you more. There is nothing like the satisfaction of running your own business. The young fair owner had flair, but no experience. Had not let our Ashley take full control so young. He'd have to prove himself first. He did that well, if you ask me. Happened he did under my tutelage. No. Fiona, poor love, she fell at first hurdle, didn't she? Oh, Fred, no, now come on. She just didn't have any staying power, Fiona. The owner appealed to the younger set. You'll attract a bigger cross section. She'll need more than just pensioners' firms, Maud. It's pensioners that keep half the salons going. Hey, 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 now I value all my customers equally. No, my problem's staff. Uh, it's a problem is staff. You've got Maxine, haven't you? Oh, yes, I mean, Maxine's fine, but I mean, there were the three of us before, and I mean, if I expand... If you expand, you'll need Maxine more than ever. Oh, on paper, of course. But, I mean, it was Fiona took her on. I know I asked her back, but what I need is commitment and reliability. Listen, I've dyed enough blonde heads in my time to know a bit of a flippity gibbet when I see one. I saw Mr Baldwin earlier. Are you bound to, working for him? I mean, at the Rolvies. Did he have anything to say? He always does. It was nothing worth bothering about. Look, Martin will be here soon. Why don't you go and set the table? All right. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. I am. <laughs> Look, forget about Mr Baldwin. I want you to enjoy yourself tonight. I will. I love being with you and your friends. See you in a bit. Well, what's changed? You were so keen to start your lessons again. I still am. No, is... you've got a talent that never showed itself at school. It's different at school. You make skitty if you work hard. Well, take no notice. Decide what you want to do and do it. Yeah, but it's not very well saying Besides, that. half of them would be jealous because they know that you're the one with the brains. I haven't got brains. The person who wrote that magazine article has. I still do daft things, though, don't I? Well, only now and again, like the rest of us. So, will I see you at seven? Oh, I can't tonight. Um, I'm popping over to Ollie and showing me all the photos. It's the only night she'll be in. Right, well, I can be free almost any evening, so let me know. Yeah. Right, that's uh, three pounds exactly, please. There you go. Thanks. Okay, see you then. Oh, hi, Martin. Hi, Ken. All right. Yeah. What are you eating here tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Gail's in the washroom getting ready. Oh, good, cos I've rubbed, scrubbed and exfoliated. Won't like her to show me up, Ken. Oh, I can't see that happening. No. See you then. Bye. Bye. Hi, Roy. Oh, All right. Yes. Hmm, something smells nice. Oh, right, well, it's got another two hours to do. Is it that first? Yeah. OK, fair enough. Time for an aperitif. I shouldn't be in this room, should I? Are you looking for something? Uh, yes, yes, I, I came back to get my uh, shopping bag. I left it in the uh, staff cloak room. And, do you know, I, I, I was just passing this door and you, I'd, I'd always fancied um, 
having a look at those televisions. Monitors? Uh, monitors, yes. Uh, they're great, aren't they? I mean, you can see all over the store. It's out of bounds. Yes, I know. And uh, I'm sorry, I was just uh, being nosy. I better go on down. Just uh, tell Ken it's a quid short and I'll give it him tomorrow. You won't like that. Wes, well, have you got any cash on you? No, not a penny, love. Well, you were going to take me into town, weren't you? Yeah. Can't you give me that money? I would have bought you somewhere on take, love. I can't spend out till payday. You want to get yourself one of them credit cards? <laughs> I'll end up in poor house, me. I know what I'm like. Look, your mum will buy you something nice next week, Toya. You have a look round and see what you fancy. She won't have time. She'll be too busy with your studying, won't you, love? Yeah. Hey, well, you better get off. Don't want to keep Sir waiting. I might go to Allianz after. No. OK. We'll be in the Rovers. So you didn't have any money? <laughs> I haven't. She will be all right, won't she? She's only gone next door but one. No, I mean all this London business. She's getting over it. Hey, maybe Spain did trick. Yeah. What about this morning? Well, she's bound to be a bit moody. Anyway, now she's taken up them lessons we can. He's hardly likely to drag her through woods, is he? No, but Dobber might. Oh, well, I hope you're not going to throw a bottle of beer over me, Roy, if I don't like this. Uh, uh, no, we, we, we're drinking wine tonight. Uh, wine? Hey, I wish I could have seen Baldwin's face. Oh, yes, so do I. Because he's always got to pick on someone, you know. He used to always be done. <laughs> That's Gail's father-in-law. Once he gets the knife in you, he can be very cruel. I sometimes wonder what Alma sees in him. Mm. Well, you can say that about all couples, though, can't you? Oh, you mean, what do I see in you? Well, yeah. I mean, no, what does Rita see in Alec? Hmm? I mean, what does Roy see in Hayley, for that matter? Cos it's not obvious on the outside, You are going to get that beer over you. Well, it's not obvious with Rita and Alec, is it? Uh, everybody's different, Martin. Uh, well, some are more different than others, though, aren't they? Eh? I used to think it was just big ones, small ones, fat ones and thin ones till I started working in that hospital. Hey, none of your weird bodies of Weatherfield stories, Martin. Not while we're eating. Not your amputation one, neither. You'd be amazed what you can cut off and sew back on again nowadays. Martin! We don't want to hear, do we? No, we don't. Is that all you could get? It's my lesson money and equity from the calf. Where can we go on that? Well, no one much came in. And Roy's girlfriend was there as well as Gail, so we had to be careful. Oh, you're paranoid about being careful? Look, I've never had a proper boyfriend before. And now Leanne says... Oh, you shut up about your Leanne. I ain't doing it with her, am I? No. You know, sometimes you're just a real kid. Shall I go home, then? Can, if you like. I'd rather stay here with you. Look, I want to go for another drive. Oh, yeah, as long as I'm careful. Look, I can get you more money on Friday. It's my mum's payday and I get me wages of Roy. Friday? It's not that long. You know, I can't shell out all the time. No. It's not like I'm the one with the job. You're the one who's earning. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got to do your bit. Right. Friday. All right. Yeah. I'll get you your money, I promise. Yeah! What is it with you two? That Mike seems to have it in for you, doesn't he? Oh, it's not Roy, it's me. I think he's sorry he took me on. Why? Because, uh, well, that's the sort of person he, he is, unfortunately. I can't believe you'd do anything to annoy him. I suppose he just doesn't really like my work. You do the same work as the others, don't you? Yeah. Well, actually, she does it better. So I've heard. The girls talk, you know. Yeah, all they seem to say is they don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, quite a mystery. Mm -hmm. You should invite Mike and Alma round one evening, you know. Then they'll find out what a nice couple you are. I don't think they'd accept an invitation from Olsen. Yeah, well... 
More fool then, because that's the best meal I've had in ages. Californian beef stew, uh, very easy to prepare, apart from the small onions. There are so many of them, they make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as nothing else does, eh? <laughs> oh, no. Since I moved in with Roy, I've been very happy. And that's how it should be. OK. You'll come again, won't you? Oh, we'd love to. Come every week, if you like. Well, I don't know about that, Roy, you know, with shift work and everything. Well, just let us know when you're available. Thank you. We will do. It's been lovely. Mm. Uh, you're not going yet. There's cheese and biscuits to come. Oh, hello, Imsy Wimsy. How are you? Fit as a fiddle, Fred, in my prime. Oh, dear. When beef cattle get that way, they send them off for slaughter. <laughs> well, no one's slaughtering me. Not in any sense of the word. Have you won lottery or something? Better than that. I've struck a blow for justice. Have you? What have you done? Planted a row of trees on Them 62? No, nothing so ordinary. Dug up fast lane. No. Don't tell me you've released your goldfish into the wild. You'll have to wait and find out. Can't wait. There's nobody serving here. Landlord! Jack's bringing up a crate. Fred, come over here a minute. What a way to run up, Bob. What? Look, do you know what's going on in the salon? Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Audrey got her finance from her husband, did then, not me. You'll have to ask him. Well, you're in and out of the place. Only showing interest in her latest venture, that's all. Yeah, well, is her latest venture getting rid of me? I wouldn't know, love. Well, if you did, would you let on? I'm not one to break her confidence, me. In this case, I am not privy to her plans. Neither am I, but I'll tell you one thing. New brooms sweep clean. Always have done and always will. She wants blood. Happen she does. She's the type. Good employees don't grow on trees, and good employers don't either. You get back what you put in. And you've been known to put in late mornings, hangovers, and going home early. Well? I'm sorry. Why? Oh, didn't the camera pick us up? No, I saw every move. But? The security man came in. Oh, no. Look, he asked me what I was doing. I mean, he could have reported me anyway. I just had to leave. Yeah, but you did you get the tape? No. Oh, I don't know. I could try again tomorrow. Will you? Oh, I suppose so. But, I mean, what if the security man sees me again? Well, he might not be there. It might be someone else. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you could find the tape? Well, I suppose so, if it's in the same machine. Look, all I can do is to do my best. Absolutely. You've got to give it your best shot, Elmer. Oh, well, I will. No fear of that. Because if we fail this time... What? Curly's at it. No matter how long he stays away, he only has to set foot in this country and the police will arrest him. Sybil's loyalty is tested to the limit. We're catching up with all the goings-on in Downton Abbey tonight at 7. Politics, world events and even technology have all had a part to play in what's made us laugh over the years. But what was tickling your fancy in 2003? The Comedy Years is next. Thank you.